Cancer, hi, all right, let's get into your reading. Peek at your person, starting off with the overall energy. Um, I feel like Cancer, there's two different aspects coming through. Uh, somebody is really thinking back on memories of love, looking at old pictures, old memories, really being nostalgic and really thinking back on the commitment, the fun times, the, the happy times, all of that. They're really conflicted on what to do, what to think, how to feel, how to take this. The other person here is really, really wanting some kind of a new beginning in love and stability. Uh, that is their wish fulfillment, double wish fulfillment here. And I feel like somebody, whoever it is that is trying to get this back together has made some, some changes, a transformation, and now it's kind of like you're waiting it out or they're waiting it out, all right, uh, until this can come back together. So I do feel like there's some kind of like trying to be patient, taking your time. Somebody's really thinking hard about this, trying to get a new beginning back together here. Uh, angel numbers, I am seeing one, 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 two, two, four, four, three, three. All right. All right. So let's take a look at your person's current energy, current situation for Cancer's person. Uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Cancer, um, Energies can be flip-flopped and reversed. So place it where you see fit. Don't force anything to fit. When I say your person, it could actually be you, Cancer. All right. Uh, and if you're feeling the vibe, want to be part of the tribe, please hit subscribe. Also like this video so I can get it circulated on YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Mm. Well, I have bad news for some of you. Again, this could be flip-flopped and reversed, but somebody is walking away or has walked away not really planning on coming back feeling like that's their truth but they are feeling kind of abandoned left out in the cold left hanging or lonely they do have a wish fulfillment and it is you so why is this person being so stubborn <laughs> commitment house home you are divine counterparts could be another water sign that you're dealing with. Could be another Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What is going on? Planting seeds. Scorpio again. For commitment again. So those came out again. See, they're thinking about this. Did they walk away or did you walk away? Is it you? You're, you're stuck. You walked away from them. They feel like you're not planning on coming back and they're feeling abandoned. I could see it that way. They want you back. They want commitment. So I feel like maybe it's you, Cancer, that you're kind of like, eh, I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. A decision. Fighting, arguments, drama. a third party there could have been yeah regret but three of cups came out in reverse which could be a person place or thing so something could have may or may not have gotten in the way of this could be money finances something like that or this person wasn't offering you stability so you kind of were like no thanks they weren't giving you what you wanted here. There is a lot of attraction, passion, desire. You guys have chemistry together. Let's see what was blocking this. What was blocking this connection, Cancer? What are the blockages? Blockages. Somebody wasn't happy. Somebody wasn't taking a leap of faith. So that's kind of how I'm seeing it. It's like you and this person were together. You wanted to move things forward. They were dragging their feet. So you called it quits and now they want you back. Someone wasn't necessarily happy over not taking a leap of faith. Someone couldn't take a leap of faith here.
There could have been something of a third party, but it may not have been, um, like someone could have been talking to somebody else or texting with somebody else and you saw that. That could also be a factor here. There just, there was no stability. This person wasn't giving you the stability that you wanted. You, you weren't on the same page with that. Or feeling like you had different goals. Family could have gotten in the way. Something with family, family dynamic, keeping you stuck in choppy waters, creating a lot of stress, anxiety. Like for some of you, the passion just kind of burnt out. Sneaky energy, lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, manipulating. What's that about? They could have just always been telling you one thing and doing another and kept you in the dark. Things just weren't adding up. They weren't making sense. Scorpio again. Wish fulfillment being blocked. Gemini energy. Actions not matching. Words. Wishy-washy. In and out. Yeah, this this person threw you off. And I feel like, Cancer, you, you walked away. And now they're wanting you back. Let's see. How do they feel about Cancer? They're watching you somehow. Social media or trying to text you. Over a painful ending. They know they stabbed you in the back. Could have been a Leo that got involved here. Or their ego. They see you as very strong. They see you very cold and cut off towards them. They want to apologize or they're trying to apologize and you're just not accepting it. Yeah, you are you could have blocked them. <laughs> you could have blocked this person. Yep, there you are. They want to reconcile. They see you as the empress, loving, caring, nurturing, fertile, abundant. They see you as your energy, the loving, caring energy. They also see you as very strong, driven, passionate, and very cold and cut off and blocking them, not accepting an apology from them. What did they do? They did something to really tick you off here. You are their sunshine. You are their happiness. Conflict. Over their wishy-washy energy and leaving you with it. They're aware. That's the thing. That they're aware that they left you in the dark or they were being wishy-washy or their actions weren't matching their words. They're aware. Now they want to put in work and effort and rebuild a new beginning in love with you. How are they going to do it? What are they going to do? What is this person going to do? Remove the ego. Put the ego to the side. Or if a Leo got in the way, they could be um, getting rid of that Leo there. That's maybe for some of you, not all of you. They're trying to change their ways. Yeah, they're trying to make this transformation, hoping that if they change their ways, they get their double wish fulfillment, which is you. Hopefully it's not meaning they get their cake and eat it too with a double wish fulfillment, but... Yeah, they want to reconcile. You may have children together, um, or this is just the past and really thinking about the memories between the two of you. They don't know what to do, but they're definitely feeling a sadness, loss, regret, remorse over this. Because you are not talking to them. They're block, block, double blocked. <laughs> they want to reignite this flame. Chariot to move things forward. There's that slow and steady energy.
trying to get themselves grounded, stable, 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 Empress energy, stable. Two of Cups. I, they're not going to change their mind <laughs> over this. They're not changing their mind. They want this. They want to reconcile things with you. They're trying to figure out how they can get to you, apologize to you, talk to you. They're trying to figure it out, but I feel like you have them like block, 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 blocked on everything for most of you, or you're just not responding to anything. And they, they really want to explain themselves and reconcile this. What's Cancer gonna do? Are you gonna forgive them? Oh, no. Ouch. Oh no, Cancer, you're, you're done. You are stressed about it, but wow. Ten of Swords. Seven of Wands, Nine of Swords, the Hermit in Reverse. You come out of Hermit mode, though. Hold on. What are you going to do, Cancer? You're not going to rebuild with them. Here you are. Um, not right now, anyway. You're trying to heal or take a break or you're trying to figure stuff out on your own. Yeah, you are being cold and cut off and walking away. They're going to try and reconcile and you're you're running away, I feel like. Running away. Some of you may give this person another chance. It is a general reading. But for most of you, I feel like... Um, down the road, maybe you might plant seeds. You might hear this person out. I feel like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation will be had for a wish fulfillment and a stable new beginning, unbeknownst to you. <laughs> and I'm saying that because the tower is here. I feel like right now, for the group I'm reading for, you're going to say, no, 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 I'm done. Do your healing, do your reflecting, work on yourself. And then out of nowhere, you may reconcile with this person unexpectedly. You do hold back for a while though, so. If I, yeah, reigniting the flame. If I had to get a time frame, keep in mind time is fluid. It's a general reading, so not everyone's on the same timeline here. Is there a time frame when Cancer will? December? Now in December, some of you, it could be March. That's what came out. So again, it's general and not everybody's on the same, same timeline. So I do see you working it out with this person, but you're taking your time. You're not rushing. All right. Truth, confession, clarity, reveal secrets. You're waiting for that clarity or truth or confession. Player, charming, manipulative, karmic, being tested. Yeah. Is this person going to own up? To being a player or being wishy-washy party celebration event public social gathering somebody may have liked to party and put that in front of a relationship they like to go out with their friends they like to act single when they're not anxiety stress depression panic attacks restless secret crush so they may not come to you and tell you i do see waiting here so it might be in secret or you have somebody that is a secret crush. And then we have proposal, love offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true, and wedding. Marriage forever, the one union. Unfinished business. Hey, maybe this turns into marriage. After you guys reconcile your differences, this could turn into marriage. I do see an unexpected wish fulfillment here. Unfinished business. That leads to a proposal and wedding. Doesn't necessarily mean running off and getting married. It could just mean commitment, finally, from this person. 
I do feel like you are taking some time and maybe dating for a hot minute before you run back to this person. Or you may start off slow and just slowly date this person to see if they have changed. Wow. All right. I'm hearing that song, soul to soul, back to life, back to reality. <laughs> See, right now, right now, look at it. It goes from unrequited feelings. There's not enough love to keep this relationship going in a healthy way and different paths. You are not on the same page with the person you have in mind. The direction you want to move in are different, right? Keep the door open. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones that are open for you. But then it goes to unconditional love. The love between you and your person is eternal. Nothing and no one can take it away from you. Open yourself to others. See, I feel like you're feeling like this person doesn't love me. They don't care about me. There's not enough love here to keep this going. They're going to keep treating me this way. We're going down different paths. I'm going to keep the door open and date, do some dating, but the reality is I do feel like there is unconditional love here between you and this person. Some of you may yell at me and say, no, there's not. But then look, reconciliation. Someone from your past or is or will be returning to your life soon. Past lives. You've known this person before. It's a soulmate from a past life. Have faith. The angels are working behind the scenes to make this relationship work. All right, let's get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fits. All right, we have T-G-U-S-O-R-Y-E-K-I-N-X. I'm also seeing D-F-C. I'm just throwing that out there, D-F-C. T-G-O-R-E-K-N-X-I-Y-S-U. All right. Zodiac signs could be strong placements in their chart, sun signs, something that happened during that season, like cancer season, for instance. All right, we have Cancer, Leo, Taurus, and Gemini. Cancer, Leo, Taurus, and Gemini. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, angel numbers, and age. Play around with the numbers and see how they fit. Also, zodiac signs, it could be anybody, you guys. All right, it's, it's a general reading. Uh, we have five, six, seven, and 11. I was seeing that here. Five, six, seven. Ones, twos, threes, fours. Huh. All right, five, six, seven, and 11. So we have, could be something like 56, 65, 76, 75, 11. Um, we have May, June, July, and November. All right, Cancer, that is what I have for you. Love and light, take care.